Hey guys and welcome to Live Russian Vocab. Today we will be talking about possessive adjectives. What are these kind of adjectives? Well, if you happen to watch Peppa Pig in Russian, maybe you've heard this sentence. Тайные слова такие. Большой папин живот. Ясно. Скажи тайные слова. Большой папин живот. Правильно! Большой папин живот! По-моему, глупые тайные слова. Большой папин живот. Which means big daddy's belly. Папин is the possessive adjective here. We could have said большой живот папы. Here we would use the noun папа in the genitive case. But we can simply make an adjective out of this noun папа and it will turn into папин. Possessive adjectives can be formed out of animate nouns, which means people and animals. Let's look at other examples and how they are formed. Папина жена – мама. The sentence means daddy's wife is mom. Oh, well, she is mom for me. Yes, yeah, she's my mom. As you see, жена is feminine. That's why adjective папина has to be feminine too. That's why we use the feminine ending ina. So, if a word ends with a or ya, we simply replace a or ya with masculine ending in, feminine ina, neuter ino, and if it's plural, i ni. Mm -hmm. For example, mamin муж мой папа. My mom's husband is my father. Yeah, here we omit the verb to be. Это. Mm -hmm. Мамин. So the word мама takes the masculine ending in. Мамина пальто. Here we use the neuter ending ina. Мамина uh, пальто uh, is coat. So a coat that belongs to my mom. My mom's coat. Мамина пальто. Let's look at the names which are widely used in daily speech of Russians. Katin syn Kostya. So Katya's son Kostya. Mm -hmm. Katin Katya's. We could have said syn Kati. Mm -hmm. Kostya. We could have said this. It would be genitive of Katya. But we can make a possessive adjective. Katin. Syn is masculine. We use the masculine ending. Бабушкины. Oh no, I skipped one. Костина мама Катя. Now it's Костя's mom Катя. Костина is feminine because mama is feminine. It's easy. Бабушкины валенки. Валенки is a Russian boots made out of wool. Maybe you've heard of them. So бабушкины means Granny's, Granny's valenki, Granny's wool shoes, wool boots. The, uh, you see, бабушкины is plural. We use our plural ending. Дедушкина ушанка. And ушанка is a Russian hat. So, дедушкина ушанка means grandpa's ушанка. Yeah, grandpa's winter hat. From the word дедушка. And this is from the word Бабушка. And the last one. Кошкин дом. Кошка is a female cat. And Кошкин дом is a famous Russian book for children. And let's look at uh, consonants in the end of words or soft sign or y. What happens to this kind of words? Um, that's what is happening. Глеб. Глеб is a name. If we want to say that something belongs to Глеб, we would say B is a consonant. That's why, oops, that's why we should add the ending of. So it will be Глебов. For example, 
Глебов дом. House of Глеб. Глебова машина. Е а for feminine. Глебово. Глебово пальто. Coat. Uh, or глебовы валенки. Е yeah? uh, wool boots. Игорь is also a male name. Um, and these kind of endings are considered soft. That's why adjectives will be soft as well. It will be Игорев. Игорев дом, Игорь's house, Игорева жена, Игорь's wife, Игорева пальто, Игорь's coat, and Игоревы валенки. Also, the words like дедов are used дедов сундук. Сундук is a chest, chest of a grandpa, or отцова ушанка. Here the word отец, yeah? Um, becomes отцова ушанка, the letter E jumps out of this word. It happens in Russian. But these kind of endings, I have to say, are quite rare nowadays. They belong to older language and they are used more and more seldom. Although these ones, if your word ends with a or ya, you may use these possessive adjectives and I think it would be really helpful for you to know these kind of things because uh, you can see them in Russian cartoons, in Russian movies and when talking to Russian people. So, I hope it was helpful. We'll meet each other in live Russian vocab. See you!